Oh boy, we are in for a good one here tonight because certainly this crowd is ready, John DeTulio. Like walking in tonight uh, around an hour or so ago, you could, you could feel it. You could just, uh, uh, the place had a certain electricity, there was a certain buzz. It does feel a um, like a uh, playoff game going on in, uh, inside this building. Certainly electric, packed house. And let's face it, I mean, the Tigers now trying to win their third in a row and try to take some tremendous momentum into the tournament next weekend. It's Jesse in the far corner. Thompson will come up with it. Sends it back. Tigers will control the puck here in the Canisius end. Danny Smith, last night's goal scorer, on the feed from Thompson. A nice cross ice feed coming up with it. Smith trying to stuff it in. In front of the goal! Smith to Adam Mitchell, the senior, number 19 with the goal and the Tigers lead 1-0. Mitchell camped in front, that big body. Talked with Adam this week. He loves playing with Danny Smith and Brandon Thompson. A couple of, uh, Smith has been a good looking freshman who gets better all the time. He's scrappy. That's a nice pass. And look at Mitchell on the stick right on the ground. Perfect. Kept it right on the ice. Never lifted that stick. And coming up the ice, here's an opportunity for Schuler. Broken stick, he has to navigate around. Schuler shoots, and the save is made. Puck is lying there in the crease. And finally cleared to the far side. How about Dan Schuler working his way not only past the defender, but past the stick on the ice? Great move to avoid the stick. And then got deep inside Kadisha's uh, defense, and then almost tapped into his own rebound. Held in by Edie. Rigney down low, centering pass, comes back out to Fortman. Fortman whiffs, sends it down low to Bohr. Bohr sends it, goes off the skate of Lynch. The Tigers need to clear it. Right out in front and a goal. Bohr on the doorstep, and Canisius is tied it at one. Yeah, Bohr snuck in behind Noise, had his stick planted, uh, perfectly planted on the ice. And was calling for it, but getting it just a Thompson couldn't find him in time. Rabel sending it forward, the rebound put back in! And the Tigers have taken a 2-1 lead. That line again, he had Thompson and Mitchell in front, he's gonna get it to a Thompson. Flex it in, get the pucks at the net, that's exactly what they did. They had Fosfeld just kind of threw it towards the net, they're gonna give it to Brandon Thompson. There you go. Leaving the rebound out in front, and there it is. Look Actually. at Edmondson was trying to play off Mitchell. Well, we do know a few teams have the bye. Bentley has a bye. Mercyhurst has a bye. Air Force. We're trying to figure out if that last team. Well, actually, Air Force. Uh, Air Force and uh, Robert Morris are battling for that last uh, bye there. But here's an opportunity as Schuler going in. The shot is. Well, he kind of gave a stiff arm there on Logan Rowe. Kind of stiff armed him, held him off, and then had enough on it to beat Asmundson. That's a great pass. Watch it. Watch him just kind of stiff arm him. Rowe kind of just <laughs> boxes him out and says, no can do. You got to get a piece of me. That's just, and then goes down on one knee. What an incredible effort by Dan Shula. Not too long ago, as you mentioned, Super Bowl weekend. And opportunity, Conacher, the cross ice feed in front. Tigers diving for the block. Held in. And Scudemi, and gloving it out of the air is Rotolo. And Rotolo getting knocked down, losing his footing, and here we go. Right? Better matchup for him, I think. I think so. And for the Tigers, I think it's a good matchup for them going to Holy Cross. You don't want to have to come back and try to beat Kanishas of four out of five. You no. beat him two, right? If they would have, if they had they lost, then he had to go back up there and try to beat him again. 10 seconds remaining. Kanishas holding it in. Closing seconds, Noise tying up his man. The long shot by Rumble. Rotolo the save, and the Tigers are gonna send the Frank Ritter Arena out in style. Three to one. RIT wins here in the regular season finale. It's their first win here since January, uh, and I will say it's probably their best 
best game they've played in a long time that we've called one of their best games. A complete effort, complete win tonight by the Tigers. Only fitting they would save their best for last. We are, we're, we're not going to go to commercial break here, Johnny, as uh, the tradition here at RIT after the handshake with the opponent, we'll watch the RIT Tigers come over and salute the corner crew one last time. Well, it's a proper way to close this building. RIT now uh, the number nine seed in the Atlantic Hockey Tournament. And now, one last time here at the Ritter, the salute to the fans. Wayne Wilson and his staff also going over. And back to center ice, and a second salute to the fans here. A special moment for those seniors tonight. What a way for them to go out. Very proud of them and how they came together here late in the year. And let's hope we see him back in town in just a few weeks. Actually, three weeks later, possibly at the Blue Cross Arena. Dan Schuler going over to shake hands with the officials. Tigers with a 3-1 win. Post-game show coming up next year. This is RIT Sports Online. The game has ended, but nobody has <laughs> left, and Stu Hughes is going to do some donuts here on the ice. How long is he waiting to do that? Look at Stu. Donuts. Yeah. No one's left this building, by the way. No, the, I, I, no exaggeration. Everyone is in their seats, and here's your final goodbye. Stu Hughes, the rake attended, very beloved here at RIT, and everybody <laughs> standing and uh, applauding. That's great. I love it. Johnny, so happy the Tigers closed out the Ritter with a W tonight. You had to. You had to close this building out. I'm sure they maybe felt some heat. You got a lot of alumni here, a lot of fans. It's electric. And you want to keep that momentum going towards the playoffs. So I think it's only fitting the Tigers not only won, but really put forth their best effort we've seen in a long time here inside this building.